Hello there and uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about adding wind to the environment. Um, in our last video uh, we worked on what happens when the character moves through the grass and now we're adding um, wind that gets generated through the environment and then makes the grass move on its own. You can still walk through the grass and influence it in a direction but um, the wind is actually coming as well. So. Let's get started. The first thing I have is uh, created this weather controller. I added it as an object in the room. Uh, that, and that's going to sit there and, and just basically create the wind um, in intervals. Uh, so it only has two, two events. One is the create, which is going to start it off. Um, in this case, I'm going to start off immediately and start generating the wind coming across. And then in, in the, al the alarm itself, we're going to create a, a wind object and then uh, create a movement change, kind of have a variable speed and how quickly it goes across, as well as how wide it is. Uh, this might mean that more grass is moving at any one time or just a thin, you know, if we had the whole screen, it'd probably be a little more evident, uh, but it, it, just how wide it, wide it goes across the screen. And then the last one is to get it uh, to create another gust of wind, uh, you know, three to seven second intervals. And you can just really play with these ho however you want. Um, but this is just a controller that goes up in the corner of the, of the level and creates the wind. Uh, the next thing I have is actually the wind. We created a generic um, block to visualize the wind uh, right now. We have overridden it so it doesn't actually draw itself. Um, so we're trying to override the the wind, but at any point you can go ahead and uh, show it if you wanted to, just to visualize it. And so we'll go ahead and show it in a second here. So the the wind is just um, has generic speed and a direction. It's going to start at the top of the screen, and then it's going to uh, stop start off just to left. Probably had to. You'll have to add more coding if you're going to have it come from the right or the left. The next thing is I'm going to make it as tall as the room. So I'm taking the sprite height and extending it all the way down to the bottom of the of the, of the room. And the last thing is, like before, we had the grass um, where the boy influenced it. In this case, we're going to have a collision for, for when the, the wind comes across. And we're going to do very... Just, uh, slightly modified as we're going to do the animation make it go right or left and then uh, have it start at the first first frame instead of zero frame otherwise it looks a little delayed um, and then four frames a second so now that we've made it visible let's go ahead and look at how that looks so as you can see the the wind starts off immediately and goes across and influences the the grass, the, the thinner will influence less and a little bit more, and we'll have it go at just a little bit different different speeds across. Um, there will be some gaps. But uh, yeah, that's how the, the wind goes across. Um, and if you wanted that, like at an angle, you can probably just uh, just angle the, the image a little bit more and have it more of an angled uh, wind across. But uh, that's how I implement wind. Um, next time I'll, I'll show how to uh, make the tree sway in the wind without actually having to do uh, animations or animation sequences. We can do that all through math. And uh, so if you want to see more, uh, click su subscribe. Um, if you like it, uh, just click like. And until next time, good luck coding.